Hey, how you doing today? Bob Folks here for the Gilly Galoo. How are you making out? As we were mentioning, we're going to talk about suet a little bit today. And, uh, boy, I have a little competition with that cardinal back over at the corner. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's winter time. Uh, coming into to winter, sneaking up on Christmas, and in fact here in eastern Ontario, we basically uh, definitely be are in winter. Um, we had a significant amount of snow and some minus 25 Celsius temperatures and stuff. That's a fantastic time to get the suet out. So why do we feed suet? bunch of different reasons. It's a really strong metabolizing uh, food energy source uh, for the birds and as they I've, I always say they eat to create heat so it, they can absorb this really quickly into their system and it metabolizes really quickly and it gives them a big boost of energy and helps them create that body heat that we're all concerned about. Now most of the time we're talking about uh, woodpeckers and chickadees and nuthatches and stuff times occasional cardinal occasional blue jay um, you know a few of those birds sometimes in the spring and the shoulder seasons warblers will go to the suet and stuff uh, but one of the, it's just a great great source and it brings another objective or another uh, opportunity I should say excuse me uh, to your yard where uh, it, you have a different pre a presentation and a different food source so it can really really assist in, in bringing those birds in for you that uh, we all enjoy and we want to provide the service to them that's our main focus here is, uh, is to help those birds that are you know struggling through the winter but also fighting um, where we are and I've talked about this quite a lot in the sense that we, uh, we you know we're forcing the issue with nature all the time um, and and they're under duress in terms of habitat loss and pesticide use and all those things so anything that we can do to assist them I think is a bonus and particularly you got a nice looking guy like this here <laughs> that's one of our fat heads you put suit in but I wanted to talk about a couple different little things uh, you know we have a, a multitude of different varieties of suet that come in the suet cake form this is our fruit and nut suet we have a mixed seed suet and then we also have a really, this is really popular, this insect and nut suet. So it actually has mealworms in it. And again, a really high protein, a really high food base uh, for the birds with that, with that uh, uh, mealworm in it. And, uh, you know, it has a suet. Suet, generally, if you look at the real definition of suet, it's a specific location in the animal. But any rendered uh, suet, which is the important key. If you render it, it lasts longer. Suet uh, itself or uh, animal fat when it goes soft uh, and is in higher temperatures can go rancid really, really quickly. So we got to be very careful what we give to them. So um, a lot of people make their own, which is fine. Um, a lot of people put peanut butter in it, which is fine. But again, we got to be very careful. It's not above uh, freezing because it becomes very high, hard for them to digest and, and deal with in that soft form. So we want to be careful. So lots of different varieties. This is a very high quality suet, uh, very functional, very high in food value, very, very safe because of the way it's done. Peanuts and stuff are also something that is very, very toxic if not handled properly. We have these suet balls here that we, we make uh, have made for us and we have a variety of different holders so this little holder here is, is very popular that you can slide up that and you can put in about three of these balls four I guess actually will go in there like that and then the birds hang on there and get that suet out of this it kind of looks like a oversized cob of corn what it looks like um, we also have the traditional traditional single cages uh, double cages and this big guy it holds about four cakes in there and this big guy one of the reasons we have this bigger one we make one as well but we're just out of the moment is that the larger woodpecker like the peleated woodpecker needs that tail prop it needs that ability so that when he lands on here uh, he can use his tail to support himself and still get the suet under there if, if they get on these smaller which they do they're they're certainly able and capable of, of doing it when they get on these smaller cages because their legs are so far down their body they just end up upside down all the time and uh and which is fine they do that they do that on the suit on the acorn anybody that follows our instagram account uh often sees the peleated woodpecker on the suet acorn and by the suet acorn i i mean this guy here 
This is very, very popular. It's uh, very popular with a lot of our customers. Uh, very popular with me. I love it. It's a great, uh, great feature. So there's actually a spruce coat inside there that's heated and it opens up and then this product is squished in there so it shoots all up inside the, the that cone and then it's capped with a peanut with food grade glue is put this wire on it and one of the things that we really like to do and as they say check out our instagram account and you'll see that gilly glue instagram account this window hanger is a polycarbonate plastic holds up to four pounds um, sticks very very well year round and then we just hang that up on the window like that and uh, all window feeders are, are particularly effective against problem windows. So if you've got birds striking your window, we have all kinds of decals and uh, feather friendly stuff as well. But if you put a window uh, feeder up, it will also protect uh, the birds because they're coming to this and this is breaking up the reflection on the window. So it's very, very, very good. So we have the, those guys. Um, uh, we have two sizes of the suet balls as mentioned. We have the smaller guys as well. These are great. We have another bigger, big uh, bell cell that we have as well, but we sold one of those on the weekend also, which is great. Uh, with, the, with the suet, fatheads as we call them. Look at that guy. Here's looking at you. <laughs> anyway, what we do is we take these, break them, whatever you want to do, and stuff them in the in all the holes. And then the, the woodpeckers and what have you get on these. These suet, they have a big hook on the top. Uh, our friend Dave Car carves them for us, and we have all kinds of other carvings and stuff here that we show on a regular basis. And these work really well uh, to have. We call them yard art uh, and fathead, so they work super, super good. So the important thing is the... Uh, Safety of the birds, of course, so we got to be very careful with our peanuts. we got to be very careful with the suet. We have to be very careful with the amount of peanut butter that we use um, and because it, uh, it can really hamper them as opposed to help them. So, wintertime, using suet, it's a great functional piece that you can uh, really help out our, uh, our feather friends. And, and if there's any questions or anything, sure, shoot some comments or send me an email or stop by the store here. Be happy to help you out anytime. And then I gotta quit competing with that cardinal. He's really barking at me over here. Have yourself a great day.